So I'm going to explain the concept of stacks and queues by using these deck of cards over here. Okay. So suppose I am a card dealer and it's my job to distribute cards to people at the table. Okay. There are two ways that I can hand out this card. The first way here, I would receive the cards in this hand, just like this. And as I'm receiving the cards, when I'm handing out the cards, I'm handing out the card that is at the bottom first. So just like this, so I can receive a card and then I'll hand out the one at the bottom and I can just keep going just like that. So that's how a queue works. So if you notice the first item that came into my hand was this, and it is the first item that I hand out. So it's the first in first out method or FIFO. So just like this, it operates just like you would expect a queue to operate. First come, first serve. First in, first out. And with a stack, it operates a little bit differently. So with a stack, I can receive my items in the same way, just like this. But when handing out the items, the very last item that I place in my hand will have to be the first item that I take out, just like that. So I can keep adding items here just like this. But in order to take out, let's say I wanted to take out this very first item. In order to take that out, I'll have to remove everything on top of it first before I can access that. And that's basically how a stack works. It is first in, last out. Just like that. So now let me give you a real life example of somewhere that you would see a stack, okay? So something like navigating your web browser or even your undo or redo actions on any document that you open uses a stack. So let's say I open a document right now. I perform an action, I put on the stack. I perform another action, I put on the stack. And when I undo that action, I'm just basically popping it off the stack. And when I redo that action, I'm basically bringing it back onto the stack, just like that. And same with a browser, as you visit more pages, it's added onto a stack. When you hit the back button, you can just keep going back to the page that you want. And if you hit forward, you just basically put in things back onto the stack, just like that. And a place you would see a queue, so let's say you have a web server, okay, and you're getting a lot of different requests on your web server, it would have a first come first serve kind of procedure, which is a queue. So let's say um, someone accesses your website, another person accesses, another person accesses. The first person that would get that page or that download or anything would be the first person that requested for it, and then the next person, and then so forth. So these are two basic examples of where stacks and queues are used in programming.